alcohol. I think the first time I had alcohol was when I was 10 years old. It was in Mexico City when my sister was uh, having a quinceanera for 15. And my cousins, uh, I'm not going to say their names, but I, th I thought it would be funny to spike my drink. So they, they put a, they put like a bunch of tequila in my Sprite. And it's really disgusting, but uh, I still remember it was to the point where uh, I was urinating like on a wall and like all sorts of like, this, it was just a disaster. Um, I remember my mom being very upset. Uh, now I know why. I, I remember I used to think, oh, what's the big deal? I got drunk at 10 years old. No, yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, I would have been really upset. My little daughter at 10 years old got drunk. I would be like knocking some heads, you know, uh, that's not, that's not normal. That's not appropriate. Uh, the second time I remember drinking, I was 13 years old and I was at my sister's friend's house. Uh, they had spiked, uh, some Sprite as well. And honestly, even at 10, I think even at 13, I really liked the feel of alcohol. Um, and then after that, I think uh, it was, uh, during my high school years, I think several people knew this. I think a few of my best friends knew how much I could drink. I think one sack I finished, I was maybe like three fourths of a Jack Daniels bottle. I, uh, I used to, the, the point is I used to drink and we used to drink even like in the quad, we would bring like these Gatorade bottles that were like half Gatorade, half vodka. And, um, we would go to like, uh, I went to a few kickbacks where like I, I drank way too much. Um, uh, I remember waking up once like in front of a McDonald's with my friend, uh, Anna and, and uh, Mario it was really gross. Uh, I remember once uh, we went to a friend, uh, his name was Hombi, because it was his birthday party. Uh, we got beyond, beyond drunk, and I ended up waking up, like, at some, like, porno shoot somewhere in the valley. And I was telling my friend, Tom, Tico at the time, like, what, what the hell, what the hell am I? You know, like, it was, it was super weird. Um, but why am I mentioning alcohol? Um, I think... Not every aspect of our society, but I think there's a huge like acceptance um, and tolerance for people who drink alcohol. Um, maybe not for everyone. Obviously, it's not, not not everyone, right? I mean, I think some people do frown on it, but for a large part, like there are like plenty of jokes made, uh, TV commercials, and uh, you know, there's even like. Uh, Support, like these articles that come out like the benefits of drinking alcohol and and how alcohol uh, uh, um, like tequila like has like these probiotics I mean it can be true I mean uh, if the studies do show that there are some probiotics and it has does have some digestive help like fine um, or even drinking like I don't know every every like I don't know only like during holiday events or just having a few I mean obviously it's not going to harm you um, but I think for people like me um who I was, I, th I was never, I think I, I was, I was an alcoholic. I, I mean, I, I, I was an alcoholic. Um, I would drink on a daily basis. On the weekends, we would have either, you know, uh, Michelada, so we would have mimosas. Um, and then we would have like beers later on during the day. Uh, uh, I, I drank a lot. Uh, I would drink on a daily basis. I would maybe have like three beers a night. Sometimes I'd drink a whole bottle of wine by myself at night. Um, after work, uh, I would drink excessively. Um, maybe not every single day, but for the majority of the week, I would say maybe five days out of the week, I would drink. And that had a detrimental effect on my health. I mean, I developed a big gut. Um, I had gained a lot of weight. Um, I remember that, uh, I, was, I had like some, I had yellow in my eye. You know, my skin looked really yellow. Uh, I know I used to have a, a lot of rashes. I, I, I have a, a lot of zits. I mean, I still every once in a while I'll get a zit there and there, but um, not as much as I used to. Um, I drank a lot of IPAs. And, uh, I drank a lot. I remember I used to be able to go, uh, it, when I used to live up in Oakland, I used to be able to get um, barrel beers, like those, like maybe like 12 or 14% alcohol. And I used to be able to drink maybe six of those. Um, it was looking back on it now, like it's disgusting. Like I, I can't even imagine, like my, I can't even imagine like how much damage I did to my liver. Luckily the liver does 
it's only that one organ that does like recover itself and heal itself. Uh, but um, yeah, it was it was it was terrible. Um, the other thing was that uh, I, I just this was it wasn't too long ago. Maybe this was in April of 2018, where I went to the Edison and uh, I had I had six double shots of tequila, and I was still standing. Uh, I, I I was I kept my cool. I, I drank it within like two hours. Uh, I was really drunk, but I guess my point being is that I drank a lot. And I have a history of drinking a lot. But why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because if you really want to make a change this 2019, I would quit drinking. If you're a, a, a person that drinks every single day, then you're escaping some form of reality. You're 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 unhappy about something. You could be depressed. Um, you could um, hate your life at the moment or whatever it is. But if you're drinking that much, there's something wrong. That's not normal and it's not healthy and uh it's a bunch of crap uh that there's like benefits to drinking i in my opinion not only that like there's a few i think there was a recent uh, i'll have to look it up and post a, uh, a link about that the the if there are any benefits to drinking at all like let's say red wine or even like tequila that has probiotics the the the, the pros are outweighed by the cons i mean uh, that should be obvious i mean the, the damage that it does to your to your liver um, it's just alcohol is, I don't know. I just don't, not for me. And I highly recommend that for those of you who want to better yourselves this, this 2019, um, I would start by either reducing how often you drink or even like quitting just in general. Don't like, you don't need to drink. And if you're drinking to be happy or drinking to like, to have, you know, intercourse or you're drinking to, to be able to socialize and that that's an issue uh, that's that's a big time issue like that that's not that's not like or like as an icebreaker that's not in my opinion that's not right i think you should definitely confront your social fears in a different way and uh i would definitely say say goodbye to alcohol for 2019 if, if you dare and challenge yourself on that um, i know i did and uh it's when I when I let, let go of alcohol, it was the best thing that could have happened to me. I mean, the best. I, the last. I mean, I guess every once in a while, like on a social gathering, like something really like maybe a wedding or like a fiftieth birthday or something really important, I'll have a few shots, you know, and then no beer ever again. Also, I think about that. Like you're paying, you're paying a company, you're paying for 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 a drink that's gonna poison you. It's gonna make you fat. It's gonna give you a, a beer, like a beer belly. It's gonna, it's gonna mess up your liver. Like that doesn't make any sense. You're paying to fuck up your health. Excuse my language, but I mean that's what you're doing. Especially if you're doing it on a daily basis. Like that's, it makes no sense. Uh, so I would definitely break the habit. Um, the last time I had drink, I was, I think I was, I just tried uh, the ketogenic diet. And uh, I was maybe like three weeks into it. And I decided to go to Costco and buy like a, you know, bottle of, of tequila. And I had a shot that night and I was tossing and turning. I was sweating. I was like, oh my God, like, what is this? Like, this is terrible. I feel like shit. So I looked it up and uh, yeah, uh, alcohol, it's fermented sugar. Your liver processes and you have, and your part of your, uh, it, part of it is processed in the brain. Um, but no, yeah, that's when I, I did extensive reading on, on, on alcohol. And yeah, any benefits that you do get from alcohol are outweighed by, by, the, by, the, by the cons. It's not worth it. Um, and after that, I just said no more. And I stopped drinking on a daily basis. I've saved tons of money. Um, and my just my philosophy on, on, on drinking has radically changed. And it's, it's, it's been for the best. So anyways, I took up. Nine minutes and 30 seconds of everyone's time uh, talking about my, my rant on alcohol and the history of it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my 100 push-ups. Oh, and uh, I took a Bulletproof coffee this morning. So I put uh, one one tablespoon of MCT oil, and then I put uh, just a small little slab of, uh, of uh, organic grass-fed uh, butter. And then um, I'm going to do the uh, Wim Hof breathing technique and see how many push-ups, how fast I can get it done. So we'll see. Right. So I just did the, uh, the Wim Hof breathing technique. 
See how much that has an effect this is in the bulletproof coffee. <clears throat> I'm not as tired as yesterday. So that's 50 push-ups, that's small little breaks. Whew. I feel really good. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I really felt tired. Not only that, I uh, ate a bunch of Oreos and cookies and who knows what, so um, I wasn't feeling too great. Um, I don't know if the bulletproof coffee did have an effect. I don't, know if you know, if I, I don't even know if I feel the caffeine. Um, but hopefully uh, in a bit, the MCT oil and the ketones will start kicking in. Um, I did kick myself out of ketosis more than likely yesterday. So um, I'm gonna wait maybe till later on in the evening to eat Whew, 50 push-ups. I'll probably cut a few. Definitely think that breathing technique, the Wim Hof breathing technique really works. I mean, it's fascinating. Not only all the all the cold and my fingers and feet that I had, like I can't even feel it anymore. It's, it's quite amazing. I'll post a link of the Wim Hof breathing technique on the description. I definitely feel. My shoulders, the burnt, like my shoulders are kind of weak compared to like maybe my triceps and my chest. So I feel most of the burn on my shoulders. <sighs> 60, let's go 70. break it is 70 oh man i totally forgot i have my headphones so i mean my yeah my headphones so you must be hearing my breathing pretty immensely that's 70 i need 30 more Knuckle push ups. Luckily, I have this carpet. This has maybe like a, an inch thick, so it helps out with the knuckles. Um, I don't feel it's not like a wood floor or anything like that. It's also a thick carpet underneath, so I have a few inches of of uh, of cushion. 
20 more, 20 more. Whew. Makes a difference too, I think, when I went all 50 versus like I did yesterday, chunk it down little by little. So uh, it makes a difference, I think you do. And I don't feel tired, but I can definitely feel my muscles being pushed to a different level. I can definitely feel it. It's funny because before I, I would, I would, I, I can, just recently, it's the first time I've been able to do 50 push ups. I've never been able to do 50 push ups. Most of the time, it's just, uh, I think the most I've ever done before was maybe 30. I used to have that push up app. Well, you do push ups every single day, but I don't know. I mean, it, it does work, but I remember the feeling. I didn't really like it. <sighs> All right, let's go. Fifteen. Okay, five more. Definitely start feeling my right wrist is starting to hurt. All right. Five more. Five more. Uh, starting to feel it in my chest. Hopefully, as I start doing this over and over again, I'll start seeing some like big, bigger results. I know I've seen a bunch of like YouTube clips online of people who do 100 push-ups a day maybe for like a month and they do see a huge difference not huge maybe not huge is the word kind of hyperbole but and they see a difference for sure let me see here Whew, five more All right, day two, 100 push-ups tomorrow again. So for the next 363 days. All right.